Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading now. Uh, this is for January 22nd through the 28th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is the Ask Angels deck. This is uh, your turn to ask a question. You go ahead and ask your question. Think of it now or throughout the reading, and at the end, the card will be revealed and hopefully give you the answer you seek. Okay. I don't know. Do you? I mean, I don't know. I'm confused here. Hmm, right here. Okay. Now we're going to get one more overall energy card. See what comes up. Keep hearing the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. Since I've started this, shuffling this deck, I don't know what that saying is. The whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. I don't know where that's coming from, but that just popped into my head, so keep that in mind. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. A spiritual strength. This is also the equivalent of the nine of wands okay so this is telling me that you've come a long ways you have a lot of experience behind your back okay don't forget how far you've come all right let go of the fear in your head let go of the doubt and the fear okay it's, it's it feels like you're growing weary all right, but during this time, you've been gaining strength and wisdom. Okay, during this time of hardship, it wasn't in vain. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, I've pre shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. This is the Thelema, in case anybody wants to know. goodness it feels like you guys are you know you've been avoiding a downfall okay you've been avoiding it all right doing everything in your power to avoid something to prevent something from breaking or falling apart putting in extra effort put it that way but you guys have learned a big lesson okay you have and it's it's pretty it's pretty evident with this card as well you guys have learned something really, really big. You have a major new beginning ahead of you because you've just ended a difficult phase in your life that which brought you strength, okay? Yeah, it's like it's the end of a karmic debt. It's the end of a karmic cycle, which is also the sign of you, okay? So you're here. And this is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Amazing, right? Okay, so that's what it is. You are, you guys have reached a pivotal point in your life. Okay, I, I feel like you guys should really celebrate your success. You've really learned a huge lesson. Okay, and now you're just doing the right thing. <laughs> there is a problem though, because you still lack confidence in some area. Okay, it's like you need to, you need to, excuse me, I have a cough coming. <coughs> Bring back your passion now. It's time to shine bright again. I think you guys have went through a spiritual breakthrough and now it's time to bring your passion back, okay? It's time to bring your energy back, your, your energy, your ambition and your drive 
I think you might have lost some of that along the way, and that's why this this is out here to remind you of all the work you've done. You've really worked hard on this major life change lesson, whatever it was. I mean, you've been through a lot, and it really, it's really um, brought about the the changes that you needed in your life, the spiritual changes. It's like an ascension of some sort here. You know, where you're ascending into a new you. You know, and you, you should be feeling pretty abundant at this time. All right? I see stability, I see prosperity, and I see abundance. And, you know, we have these completions. So if you haven't experienced it yet, it's around the corner, okay? It's coming. Your, your reward is in sight for all the hard work that you've done. It's in sight. But, you, you, you know, I see the success. I really do. But with this death card reversed, it's like you're still holding on to something. You haven't made something final. And this is finality, but with the death card, it's like you're, you haven't quite done it yet. You still have some hurdle ahead of you, okay? Even though, you know, there's something karmic here, and I feel like you have really made huge, huge headway, you still haven't let something end that needs to end. And I can't, I can't flip this card around, only you can. You have to accept this as a transformation, and that could certainly be it. That you don't have confidence in yourself now. Yeah, you may have learned something, and you may have let something go. But now you need to regain your confidence and have this fresh start. You need to let yourself begin again. I think you were involved in a toxic situation. Okay, where maybe this this person that you were dealing with um, was a liar, uh, very manipulative. Uh, they could have had addictions, and it could have just been sexual. And now, but the thing is, is see over here, you're starting to become happy again. It's like you've reached this this enlightenment. You know, you've received some enlightenment, which has made you very happy and f made you feel like, I know there's something more. I feel like you guys have learned some big, huge lesson. And you, it really was a blessing in disguise that this person is probably the one that you're cutting out of your life. It's probably a blessing in disguise. But they did bring your self-esteem down. Okay, whoever this person was brought your self-esteem down and now you need to get it back. It's time to bring the balance back to your life, back to your soul. Okay, because I, I really feel like you guys have been tested. Okay, you've been tested and now you need to stop procrastinating and it's time to move on. And I feel like that many of you are doing that. But you, you're still... It's like with that death card, you have to start over. You have to realize that this all happened for a reason. When you, yeah, I feel like you, you've let something go and you realize that something was karmic, definitely karmic with these two cards. There was a karmic tie, okay? And you realize that, but you still can't uh, move forward, you know? Um yeah, it's like you're stuck. It's like you you think you're overanalyzing it still. But you're still overanalyzing it way, way, way too much. Um, I'm just going to zoom this in for you. I guess that's pretty good. Okay, so you guys have gained some wisdom here. So remember that. You guys have gained something huge throughout this difficult process. It could have been much worse. That's what this tower says. If it would have kept going, it would have been worse. It feels like you guys have been very emotional. And you may have felt like you were the victim in this matter. Okay? You know... And you may felt like, and you may still feel like you deserve more, or you deserving more may have 
may have been what taught you the lesson. You know, you deciding, you know what? I have overanalyzed this too much. This love is never going to be reciprocated. And I've lost too much time crying about it. And now I really have to let it go. Okay? So the thing is, I don't think you're letting it go quite yet. Okay, the lesson is here. The lesson is here about what you deserve. That's what the lesson is. What do I deserve? That's the lesson. But you actually letting it go, you know, I don't think you have yet. You may be obsessed with something, but you're so, you really, I think you want to let it go, but you can't. Oh my goodness, what is this? Yeah, there's lack of, the lack of a new beginning because you're still stuck. Damn it. I was hoping you guys learned a lesson. But I feel like you're still learning the lesson. That must be why that lesson is there. That world card. It's like... <laughs> you're trying to keep something together with the tower card. And it's a major lesson with the world card right next to it. This is universal. This is divine. This is definitely a karmic lesson. You guys are, are undergoing a major life lesson that you quite haven't learned yet. And this is the truth. It is the truth. You guys just won't accept the truth. Damn it. Oh, God. And see, there's no new beginning for you. There's no growth here. You know there's not. But you just keep brooding over it and, and crying about it and feeling like you're the victim. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, you know, I can't change this. Um, and you're not moving forward like you need to be. Now, the Death card and the Chariot card, they're both transformation cards. But they're both reversed. You have the ability to learn this real lesson and transform yourself, go through your transformation. Right now, you're learning a spiritual lesson. Okay? You are. It's, it's given to you from, from beyond. I mean, it really is. It's given to you from beyond. They're trying to teach you. They're trying to help you to ascend to another level. And you're just, you're, you're not doing it. You're not letting it happen. I think you've learned something really, really big along the way. You have. I can see that you have. But you're still not feeling worthy. You're still not feeling confident. You're still, your self-esteem is still down. Because you're still letting the devil in. I mean, that's what's happening. You're, you're resisting this change all the way. It's time to end it. It's time to let something go. It's the end. You've reached the end. Are you ready? Are you ready to learn the lesson in, that you need to learn, that the spirits are trying to help you learn? Are you ready? I mean, we got the nine here. The next is the ten. So you're so close with this. It's a nine. The next is a ten. It doesn't matter what suit it is. I'm telling you what. Here's the nine. Here's the ten. This is the completion. That's how close you are. That's how close you are. You're right on the edge, and the nine of wands is on the edge. Okay, you're on the edge of learning this karmic lesson, but you're just holding on to something by a thread instead of moving forward, instead of mastering your emotions and holding your head up high and taking back control of your life. You're still letting somebody else keep you trapped. And if you don't like my tone of voice, don't watch me. And I feel like you're not, there's no love being offered here. Okay? There's not. And it feels like it's really time for you guys to open your eyes and shed the past. This is your wake up call. Right now, you're going through an awakening. That's what you're going through. But to get to the other side, you have to learn this lesson. 
There's that nine of wands again. Of course you do. You're so close. You're so, so close. Now, I want to tell you how close you really are. These are both right before the completion. Both of these cards. You are like right there. Right there. The next steps are letting go. Really, really, really letting go. Letting something end. Because it's never going to fulfill your wishes. You need to stop crying about it. It's time to clear away this obstacle in your life so that you can really find love. Because at this point, being trapped where you're at, there's no love. There's no union. There's no forward movement. You've reached a dead end. Chalk this up to a lesson learned and move on. This brought you spiritual strength and wisdom. I'm going to get you your angel romance card. You're overanalyzing stuff. You're procrastinating. And it's time for you to release this karmic debt. Make the changes that you are being called to make. These are changes. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It's time to move on. I have your card here. Are you ready? Do you have your question, Libra? Reconsider. This is a no to me. It is. I've, I've had this card before. This is a no. You're not making the right choice. That's what this card means. Think twice. You're not thinking clearly. That's what this card means. Please reconsider because you're not making the right... You're not making the right... Um, path, whatever it is, choice, it's not the right thing to do, you have to accept the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, talk to you later Libra.